Hey guys, Corey NWF here, don't you know, and today we're going to be doing a recap over a tournament that we played in for Kevin Gaming 64, and yeah, so for whatever reason my recording had failed live, but we were in Kevin Gaming 64's uh, tournament, and... I'm going to kind of recap, go through these. The first round we had a bye, then we played against Regs to Riches, and then we played against Star Rising, who's GOBTD, another YouTuber who's monetized, and then Kevin Gaming 64 who recently got 2K subscribers. He's ahead of me, and we got to play against him too, and probably my most clutch game of all time, um, definitely in the top five, so... Looking forward to it. Let's go ahead and recap and go through some of this for sure. All right. So as you can see, I went Spack Denier here. And this person went Ninja Ice Village. And full disclosure, uh, not toxic, but really not the best to start off with the Ninja. So, <laughs> but uh, oh, yeah, before I forget, guys, if you're new to the channel, welcome Please consider smashing that like button and subscribing. We are on the road to 2K subscribers, and that'd be really cool of you. Totally free, and at the end of the day, you can always change your mind. So I do have a goal of five likes in this video and just two new subscribers. And, I mean, you could help me meet half that goal by subscribing yourself. So they sent some balloons here. They're very aggressive. We're going to probably upgrade this if I remember correctly. There we go. Nice. I just remember him being so aggressive here with sending. We use our tax in the back. And we definitely get up more sentries. Uh, for sure. I'm a big fan of Spactineer. I know how to play Spactineer better than NFE. I really need to learn how to use NFE. It's not as good now that the Sabotage has been, uh, uh, the ninja ability has been uh, nerfed, so you can't permaslow anything anymore. But, uh, you know, it is what it is for sure. Oh, that's right. He sends black balloons here, so uh, we definitely get up some more defense to help cover, especially with the green balloons in there. So we get a 9-inch nails. And uh, help break all that down there. But yeah, look how much he's sending there. Just normal eco. I mean, I'm not really putting pressure on him. I thought about sending him greens, but I'm like, you know what? Round eight yellows are going to do the job just fine. So should be totally fine there. So we send a bunch of yellows and so we do force a tower boost. Which is perfect, so... Uh, they're not going to be able to afford constant yellows here. So uh, instead of selling my farm, I just sell one of my NGs. And now we just send yellows because your boost has ran out. And now what do you do? See, whenever you go in eco strat, you need to have money to be saved, like saved up to defend. And that ice spot, come on, bro. Not toxic, but worst ice spot of all time. I think they just realized it was over and gave up there for sure so but ggs ggs friend all right now let's jump on in here and see the uh gobtd game and this one was amazing too he uh he commented afterwards and was like he just couldn't believe that he didn't defend on boost and i'm telling you uh i thought for sure he was gonna go cobra but he probably knows i go cobra so he used the counter so Tack Mortar is a great counter to my strat. Tack Mortar is one of the most common used strats to counter Cobra. But still, if you know how to utilize uh, rushes, you can still get past the Mortar because it'll hit its, uh, uh, its pop limit there, its ability to see the other balloons and... You'll be more than fine. You're able to do that, and yeah, so.
attack is really good. It helps you greed early game. I'm not a tack player. I have used it a few times before, but I'm just not a fan of tack. Really not. Uh, it's not my preference whatsoever. He's sending pink balloons. Yep, I go for Bernie stuff because, uh, yeah, I don't want to keep leaking, so. It's a little over-defend, but I do that a lot with over-defending. And a lot of times I like to send Space Eco to get up more defense here, so. Uh, definitely something I've done before. Layering on them is really good as well. You send reds, blues, and then a couple of pinks over top. You know, blues, greens, send some pinks over top. Try to get it to layer over and uh, get those leaks in, you know what I mean? Slowly chip away at his life count. Um, it's definitely key to chip away at the life count if you want to be successful in doing those early rushes and taking them down early. Reds, blues, greens, especially with round 7 AI. All he needs is two blade shooters, but he's defending just fine, so he's not concerned, really. It's like minimal leaks, minimal leaks, but those minimal leaks add up. One live, two lives, three lives at a time. I'm pretty sure I said yellows here, too. There we go. Oh, and he gets the mortar up. Nice. Okay. So this is when I realize, okay, his strat counters me. Look at all those leaks, though, just from sending yellows. Round 10 is definitely a round we need the bomb. I got the uh, mortar down here in case he sends us some region stuff. Got the bomb in the middle there, upgrading it. Two times on the left, it looks like. But yeah, we are definitely gonna take advantage of the camo situation here, so check this out. Let me know what you think about it. He's farming real well, as always. There's not much I can do when he's got all that defense up, you know, slowly chipping away, but. We get camo detection. Looks like he got camo detection. Some of that did leak through. Round 14 is a great time to layer in there. He's in great position to get an early BIA. Round 14, round 15 BIA if he wanted. We send a bunch of balloons here. Okay, he tower boosts, nice. So he uses tower boost. The question is, is he going to go for his BIA with his boost down? So delayed it a little bit. That was my goal. We send some leads, zebra, and pinks below and boost it. So that's the thing is those regions uh, help. Look at that. 13 lives. Six lives. So when I rerush, see those region, region zebras, and we boost camo pinks. Tower boosting, he went for his BIA, but look, it beat the cap limit, and it went right through. So even on a boost, it still got through there. So that's amazing to me, but I think the region lads and zebras with the pinks, it just couldn't see through it. So he went for his BIA, while I was rushing, even on a tower boost, got the victory. GG's, GG's. And now the game we've all been waiting for, don't you know? Kevin Gaming 64. He was kind of going a meme strat. He used the, uh, uh, what is it? Wiz Ace here. So, uh, really fun. I'm going to kind of go through this here. Uh, a little bit faster so 
Got the spikes. But just watch the life count as we go on. This is what's truly amazing here. Got it, got it, got it. Looked like it was fast. I take those leaks. More leaks than I wanted, but it is what it is. Upgrading my mortar. Definitely want to get Bernie stuff. We forced his lightning. Looking good, looking good. Building up that eco. We got the Bernie stuff. Preemptively anticipating he was going to rush us. Black balloons can get some leaks in. Slowly chipping away at his life count. He's not getting up more defense. Now he gets up the wizard. He's still got a few leaks there. So now we send the regions and we boost. Up, he gets up more wizards. Still leaking. Oh, and this is where we messed up. So look at this. Look how much we leaked down. Five lives. That was crazy. We didn't have the bomb up in time. And I totally leaked that. Look at this. Look at that. One life. I thought for sure I was done there. One life. That is insane. There's no way I should win this. I rush him a little bit round 14, send some balloons in there. He gets up the dragon's breath. He's totally fine. We're laughing. He's, he's doing the live stream right now, so... Just couldn't believe it. We do go for four attritions here to take the rest of his life to gain that life back. And I'll tell you what, if we didn't do this attrition, we would have lost this game. For sure we would have. So he goes for the round 15 bank. And we just got four attritions trying to get all that life back because... It's easy to leak a camo or two, you know, so got to take those lives back. I realize I don't have bigger blast, so I got to get bigger blast. I totally leaked that yellow. So if I didn't do the attrition, I would have been in serious trouble there. Totally leaked that one, too. Just unlucky. Looks like he's sending me a Moab. I'm getting up more Cobras. There we go. We tower boost. We shred that on boost. Can't remember if he sends me a follow-up rush. I'm not sure why he didn't send me a follow-up rush and boost it. Probably should have done that, but now look, now we have the life advantage. That's just the power of attrition, don't you know? Looking really good. Taking those lives. Round 20, we send a BFB. Balloon boosting it. I'm sure he cashed out to do this. There we go. He's got the Phoenix. And he tower boosts. Looking good. Does he get the Tornado Wizard in time? Oh, but he had one life. GG's. Got the victory. Don't you know. It leaks through. And wow. Cannot believe we won that. Uh, yeah, just insane there. <laughs> One life. It totally made that mistake of not having the bomb up for the region leads. And uh, Cobra struggles against region leads. But GG's to Kevin Gaming 64. 
He is monetized. I'm his only channel member right now, but hopefully by the time this video comes out in a few days, we'll have more channel members. I'm a big fan of Kevin Gaming 64 and yeah. So guys, Corey and WF, don't you know, that's all for today. Catch you next time in our daily uploads and streams. So bye.